everyone and welcome back to Upside Down Disney. If you are new here, my name is Jess and happy Magic Mail Monday, everybody. Um, so for those of you who don't know, Magic Mail Monday is when I open all of the pins that I have either purchased or traded um, with people in um, either the Disney Kitty pin trading group um, or is purchased from various places online. Um, so today I have a little mix of stuff. Usually I just have pin trades, um, but I do have some pins that I have purchased. So I'm going to start off with some pin purchases. So um, I purchased some pins from Brian Starr. He is Disney Pin Star on um, TikTok and Instagram. I will leave him linked down below. Um, he recently came into a whole collection of Disney pins, either from a friend or somebody who passed away. I'm not entirely sure. Um, of exactly how he came into this pin collection, but he is basically selling off this pin collection for a family friend. And so there are so many awesome things this person has been pin collecting for years. Um, so there are a lot of really awesome pins that they had in their collection. And so he does, um, like one, about once a week, um, will do um, a sale on his website of these pins. So I purchased quite a few. Um, these are just some of them. Other ones are coming. Um, but um, some of these are actually like pretty old pins. So I am super excited about them. So the first one that I have here is this bell pin from the France Pavilion in Epcot. So this one came from, I think it was like a booster pack or maybe a mystery set um, at Epcot. Um, but it is just this gorgeous pin featuring Belle with a red rose and it has the Eiffel Tower in the background and then just says France on the bottom. And then here is the back here. Um, and it just has the pin trading logo and everything and the Mickey waffling. And this pin is from, I believe this is, yeah, 2010. This pin is from, so... So most of the pins that he does is selling are pretty reasonably priced. Some of them are more limited edition um, and rare pins, so they are a little bit more expensive, um, but nothing is too outrageously priced. Second pin is one that is actually going to end up going in my trader pile. It is this Haunted Mansion um, ride attraction poster featuring, I think it's Mater from Cars. Um, I totally saw this and thought that it was actual Haunted Mansion at first and didn't realize and so I bought it and then realized later that it was Mater. Um, so yeah, gonna try and trade for this one because um, I figure for maybe somebody who is a Cars and Haunted Mansion collector, this would be really cool. Um, this also came from a booster set at Disneyland um, and from 2011 which featured a whole bunch of Cars characters on Disney attraction posters. So there's that one there. And then the last pin that I got for right now um, that I am super, super excited about is this awesome Stitch Tower of Terror pin. So it just says a Twilight Zone Tower of Terror on the bottom. And then it features the Tower of Terror elevator and the doors kind of slide open and close. These are a sliding kind of pin on pin element and they reveal Stitch there in a bellhop costume. Um, and he looks like he is about to cut the rope <laughs> on the elevator. Um, so I super love this pin. It is so cute and just such like a Stitch thing to do. Um, and yeah, this pin is from 2003. So this is a super old pin. Um, this is even before they had the Mickey waffling on the backs of pins. So yeah, this one is super, super cool. And I'm super excited about that one. And now for the pin trades. I have quite a few pin trades that I've done recently. Um, so this one is from Miranda in Missouri. And these I am super, super excited about. They are two of the Hidden Mickey pins um, from the King Triton's Daughters um, collection. So yeah, this is a Hidden Mickey collection that I super want to complete. Um, I don't know which daughters these are. Um, I'm a super bad Little Mermaid fan and I can't tell the difference um, between all of King Triton's daughters. But I do have the one that is on the blue background already. Um, and so then we just have this one on the pink shell background. Um, and she has blonde hair. If anybody knows the difference between like which daughter is who, let me know down below which ones these are. Um, I totally meant to Google it before filming this video and never did. Um, and then we have this one here on the yellow background. 
and these are super adorable and I'm pretty sure that they are authentic. Um, the Mickey icon looks really good on them. The enamel looks super good and the backs of them look awesome as well. So this one is Hidden Mickey Pin 2 of 6 or 2 of 5, sorry. And then this one is 3 of 5. So thank you so much Miranda for that awesome trade. I am super excited to be three fifths of the way completed with that set. And next package is from Christine in Pennsylvania. So this pin I'm super super excited about but first she did include some adorable little stickers. So we have this beautiful Aurora sticker and then these adorable tiny stickers of Rapunzel. And then these two of Ariel. So one is Ariel with flounder and one is Ariel in her green dress. And I just think that these are the tiniest little cutest stickers in the world. I absolutely love the art. Um, and yeah, if you watch this, Christine, where did you get these? Because I need them. <laughs> and then the pin that I traded for, um, I believe I traded her one of the princess ice cream pins um, in exchange for the Moana pin. She had, I had one of the ones that she needed and she had the Moana one. Um, so we traded and now I have the Moana ice cream pin to be one step closer to completing the princess ice cream collection. So thank you so much, Christine, for the awesome stickers and helping me complete the pin collection. And next pin is from Olivia in Michigan. And so she packaged this insanely well. So they were in this bubble mailer, which was inside of another bubble mailer. And then everything, every step of the way was wrapped in bubble wrap. So this is the box from the pin wrapped in bubble wrap. And then the pin itself was in the box wrapped in bubble wrap. And you can see it is one of these Star Wars backpack pins from Loungefly. and I traded her for the Darth Vader backpack, which I just thought was so cute. I'm obsessed with these lounge fly backpack pins that they keep doing. So I had to get this to add to my Star Wars pin collection. So thank you so much, Olivia, for the trade. Up next is from Sasha in Oregon. So again, she included some adorable stickers. With the pin, so we have some awesome Frozen 2 stickers here of Anna and Elsa. And then we have Jasmine and Cinderella. And I traded her for one of the Minnie Mouse headband pins. I think these are from a Loungefly box set um, that I was never actually able to get my hands on and I don't know if they're still available um, but I saw that she had one of these and asked if she wanted to trade and she did. So yeah I super love this um, mini headband collection and was never able to get them so super excited to now have one. And last but not least, um, I traded with Katie in California. And I believe, yes, I got two pins from Katie. And she included some super magical extras in there. So she just included a note saying, hi Jess, thank you so much for trading with me. I hope you enjoy these pins. Happy trading. Love Katie, which is super cute. And then so many awesome stickers. Um, I have this little bell. Um, tag thing from Daiso. I believe this also came in the package that I traded with um, somebody else, but super love these. So super excited to see more stuff from Daiso. Um, and then there is a Cinderella one, which is super beautiful. It has her carriage in the background. And this adorable Little Mermaid sticker, which I super love. And it's giving me like all the 90s vibes. <laughs> so super love that. And then this really creepy looking Beauty and the Beast one, which I love. It just is super spooky because it's got the beast kind of in shadow behind her. Um, and it's the scene where she like sees the rose and she looks like super spooked out. 
and then just the writing reminds me of like a horror movie or like metal band logo or something so super cool a sticker here and then there is this little mermaid one that also is giving me super spooky vibes um she's got the little dingle hopper there and super love that as well and then this really adorable wreck it ralph sticker of vanellope with cinderella and it's even got the mice there and yeah this one is super super cute as well so love all of the stickers um and everything in this package super super cute and so just thoughtful thank you and so the pins that i traded for was this um on a purse pin from the princess purses mystery bags at the parks this is super cute and looks like Anna's coronation dress, which I absolutely love and think is just so pretty. I love the green and the pattern there. And then here's the back of the pin. And then the other pin that I traded her for was the Orange Bird Delicious Drinks pin. So it just says the citrus swirl and has a little orange bird peeking through the can there. And this one is actually for my partner who has a orange bird pin collection. So super excited to give them that. They're going to be so excited. So yeah, thank you so much, Katie, for the trade and all the little stickers. I absolutely love them so much and have to find some place to stick all of them because they are so cute. And yeah, that is all for this Magic Mail Monday. Um, comment down below and let me know which pin was your favorite. Are you collecting any of these sets um, or any of these Hidden Mickey pins or anything like that that I have shown today? Um, let me know. I would love to know if we were pin twins on anything. And if you like this video, please give it a huge thumbs up and remember to subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell so that you can get stuck in the Upside Down with me again soon. As always, I hope that you guys have a magical week and I will see you in the next one. Bye.